Today I want to talk to you about dehumanization. What is dehumanization? It is when we determine that a life is not valued. When we determine that that life doesn't matter. We've had dehumanization in our nation and it has not turned out well. It's been many atrocities that we are aware of that have happened and they were not right. Margaret Sanger was a eugenist and a racist, of course, who determined that black lives did not matter. And she wanted to eliminate people who look like me. She founded Planned Parenthood for just that reason. And the legacy of the abortion industry is about dehumanizing individuals. They want us to believe that lie, that our babies don't matter, that our babies in the womb do not matter if they're not planned, if they're not wanted, if they're not socially economically well off, if they're not seemingly able to do things, that they are not important. They are, we are important and we must not continue to allow these lies to perpetuate in our community, in our families, and in our churches. We must stop these lies. You know, I work with young ladies every day that I help them to understand the value of their babies in that womb, that they are valued, that they do matter, that it is important that we continue to, to not dehumanize these babies in the womb. I can say over and over again that I've seen so many people who don't understand why we're not the majority now. Well, it's because of abortions. Do you know we're having more abortions than any other race of people in our population? We're having more abortions than births in some of our states. I can't imagine how we can sit back and allow this to continue to happen because our lives do matter, and the lives in the womb matter as well. We talk about black lives matter, well guess what? Black lives matter in the womb.